Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Game of Thrones. Last time on Game of Thrones, we had Kissed by Fire, where a bunch of stuff happened. Uh, more specifically, uh, we got some stuff with the Lord of Light reviving uh, the one dude with the uh, the Knights of... The Men of No Banners, or the Brotherhood Without Banners, that's specifically what they're called. Uh, in which uh, Gendry, Gendry, I think it's Gendry, I never understand, I never get his name. Uh, I think uh, Gendry is staying with them, which sucks that we're losing him, but whatever. Uh, we get some stuff with the royal wedding between uh, Joffrey and Marjorie, but then wrenches are thrown everywhere when Sansa is going to be married to Loras, but now she's going to be married to Tyrion, and Loras is going to be married to Cersei, and all things happening and yelling and such. Uh, Rob is going to move on Castle Rock. Stannis has a daughter that uh, likes Davos. Uh, the two dudes, um, Sir Barristan and Jora, are talking about how awesome Daenerys is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Stuff like that. Jon Snow got laid. And yeah, and there may be something happening to Jamie. He's like deathly ill or something. So, yeah, uh, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's stick to this episode and previous episodes of Game of Thrones that I have reacted to. And in terms of talking about the books, you can talk about them, but I'd rather you be very, very vague about it. And with that all being said, let's get right into episode six. Here we go. Oh, it's Sam. I was just wondering, we hadn't had, we didn't have any of the Night's Watch last time. Is the wall as big as they say? Oh. Bigger. Yeah, that, that makes sense they're going to the wall. So big. It's the safest can't place. can't see the top sometimes. The father's face is stern and strong. He sits and judges right from wrong. He weighs our lives the short and long. Not the best and audience for that song. Children. I saw Jon Snow. Oh. You saw him? And Castle Black? No. He was on the wrong side of the wall. And surrounded by enemies. Ooh, that looks bad. That looks like John's not part of the Night's Watch anymore. He didn't stop being a crow the day you walked into Mansa Raider's tent. Oh. She figured him out. Keep your elbow high. Yeah. You want your back doing the hard labor. Well, this is good. She's actually learning stuff. Never hold. That's about far enough. Don't hold. We come as friends. Begging your pardon, oh. my lady. We'll be the judge of that. Melisandra. Forgive me, lad. Oh, they're taking him? Why? Let go of him! And in that darkness, eyes staring back at me. Brown eyes. Blue hmm. eyes. Green eyes. Eyes you'll shut forever. Okay. We will meet again. Don't look down! What are you, crazy? Ha! Uh, ha! Uh. Wide angle. He's tied to you, asshole. Oh my god. Oh god. Back to Theon. Sorry. You don't use that for much, do you? No? Good. Let's start with that. Just, d d why? Who are you? What is happening? God, I wish I knew what was happening with this dude. Wondering why you're here, honey. Yes. Torrent casts up. He's dead. Strangled by the Kingslayer. Uh... He was your brother, your father. This Lord Rickard cast out. Okay. Karstark. I betrayed Rob. That's why you're torturing me. Okay. Yes. 
All right, so they are northerners. You forgot to ask if I'm a liar. <laughs> All right, scratch that off. Well, I don't think that's. What we are fighting for the north. Aaron Hall is not in the north. That's true. It is his. Once the war is over, and we have no further strategic need for it. That's true. And there's something else. You can give up Aaron Hall. We will do whatever we can to give. Our father requires Lord Edmure to wed one of his daughters, Rosalind. Deal. How old is she? Nineteen. Can I see her first? You want to no. count her teeth? We depart. My answer is no. <laughs> Let him take listen over. To me, and listen very carefully. Oh you yeah, that's the uncle. The gods and men are very clear. No man can compel another man to marry. The laws of my fist are about to compel your teeth. It's all right. <laughs> you heard him. We can't win it without them. I have no time to haggle. Yeah. You said you wanted to make amends for the stone mill. You recall that heroic engagement? Yeah. I've won every battle. But I'm losing this war. Yeah. That's a good point, you actually. Do this and do it now. I see my men have finally found you something appropriate to wear. Well, wow. Yes, most kind of them. You're a stark bannerman, Lord Bolton. I am it had to be the brightest color, too. Return, Jamie. Your daughter is rich. The most beautiful woman in all seven kingdoms. Oh. The mother of the king. Old. Ooh. Old? Old. I'm something of an expert on the subject. <laughs> the change will be oh my gosh. So long. And remove the stain from his name. Mm. Did you grow up with boy cousins, Lord Tywin? Sons of your father's bannermen, squires, stable boys? Of course. And you never. No. <laughs> Not once. Not in any way. Never got curious never. in college. Brothers and sisters, where I come from, that stain would be very difficult to wash out. Ooh. Breathe further life. The uncertainty makes you uncomfortable. All right. I'll remove it for you. Okay. If you refuse to marry Loras to Cersei, I will name him to the King's Guard. I'm sure you're uh. familiar with the King's Guard vows. Or do you consent to this match? You drive a hard bargain. It's a rare enough thing. A man who lives up to his reputation. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away. Uh-oh. The wall's cracking. The wall shouldn't crack. Can he hold both of them? Jeez. That's no, that's three of them. Dude, strong. So is that rope for that matter. Oh. Oh! God, that's gonna hurt. Why did you decide to climb the wall? I'm very happy about... Uh, yes. I am as well. I mean, I'm sure they like each other, but not like that. <laughs> yes, me too. Have you ever been to Highgarden, my lady? No, I'd never left Winterfell before I came to King's Landing. Hmm. But it sounds wonderful. I can't wait to see it. It has to be better than King's Landing. And to leave. If it weren't for your trick with the wildfire, Stannis would have sacked the city before Father got here. Thank you! Our heads would still be rotting on the city. I want you to tell me if my life is still in danger. Probably. But not from Joffrey. He won't do anything now Father's here. Yeah. Seven kingdoms united in fear of Tyrone Lannister. Yeah. Not the Tyrells. Alone, if I may. Why do you need to speak to her alone? Shay? 
<laughs> Please excuse her, Lord Tyrion. She's not from here. But I trust her, even though she tells me not to. Oh, uh, yeah, she doesn't really know about the whole thing between them. We think we want to hear something. A thousand blades taken from the hands of Aegon's fallen enemies, forged in the fiery breath of Beleriand the Dread. There aren't a thousand blades. There aren't even two hundred. <laughs> I've counted. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Yeah. Ugly little thing. Chaos is a ladder. <laughs> Whoa. Many who try to climb it fail. And uh, never get to try again. Monologue montage. The fall breaks them. Oh. They cling to the realm. Last chance the out. Gods. It's gone. Or love. She's stuck there now. Illusions. Well. They made it to the top. <laughs> Can't we just sit here a little bit? We're exhausted. Yeah, time to look at the other side. Ah, oh, it's green. Yeah. A good moment. I like that. <laughs> and that's it. Alright. Shorter episode. Nice. Ow! Alrighty. A good episode. Doesn't... <sighs> Doesn't exactly have as much uh, stuff going on as, like, the last episode. Like, the last episode, I took a ton of notes. This time, not as much, but, yeah. It was sort of almost a smaller sort of episode, I, I would say, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't know. We're just kind of, It was just kind of a continuation of the last episode. Again, if that makes any sense. But I do have some notes, so we can go over that. Uh, I wrote down John slash uh, Yigrit. Is that how you pronounce her name? Yigrit? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, I do like that they both realize that... Or at the very least, she realizes that there's no real point in being loyal to either side. To the Night's Watch or to the Wildlings. Because they it doesn't matter. They don't really matter to them like she said they're just soldiers fighting in this war and if they fall they're gonna find other people you know there's plenty of other people to fight in their place so i did like that and i think john is starting to warm up to that idea um i don't know maybe like maybe he's starting to realize that i'm not exactly sure i mean honestly there's not much of a night's watch for him to come back to so yeah so and it's also interesting that he's technically closer well he's at the wall so he made it there presumably before sam and gilly and i would assume i don't know i assume something's gonna happen like john's gonna john and yeager are gonna leave and you go their own way maybe they take sam with them something's got to happen because i don't think they're gonna necessarily let the attack on the wall happen so so yeah i also like their chemistry uh john and Yigret. Yeah, they're, they're so, she is very, very funny, and I do like that, and I like, I, I like the way they, the two of them play off each other, it's fun. Uh, I wrote down Gendry slash Eyes, so first off, they're taking away Gendry so that, um, for some purpose, the Lord of Light, they said, has some purpose for Gendry, we're not sure what, you know, they didn't really say what the purpose was, but he does have some sort of purpose. Maybe he's just going to be, maybe he's going to be a blacksmith for Stannis. But now the thing is, um, you know, obviously, you know, he's the bastard son of Robert Baratheon. Maybe that, I'm not exactly sure why, like, I'm not exactly sure what the consequence of that would be to Stannis. 
Robert's bastard son because technically he has no legitimate claim on the throne because he's a bastard. Bastards don't have any claims. They don't have they can't be an heir to the throne or an heir to their father the same way that John is not an heir to Ned Stark. Otherwise, if Rob fell, Jon Snow would be, you know, next in line, but that's the whole reason they sent John to the Night's Watch. So, so yeah, the Lord of Light has some purpose with Gendry, and it'll be interesting to see what that is. And it's nice to know that we're going to keep him around for a little while, too, um, with this whole Lord of Light stuff, because, you know, there's... I don't know, it's like... I guess I kind of thought that we would just be kind of leaving him once we left the Brotherhood, uh, the Brotherhood Without Banners. You know, because he was going to stay with them and, you know, we were going to keep following Arya. We probably weren't going to keep following him, so... So, yeah, I like that he might still be involved in the plot, because I like him. And then I wrote down the whole eyes thing, where Melisandre, you know, saw these other eyes, these dark other eyes uh, within Arya... So that's interesting. It's like she took special note of it and said, like, we're going to meet each other again, you know. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see where that goes. I wrote down Theon and Karst Karstark, which I guess is not true. It's like, oh, finally, we got something. He's from the north. He's doing this because of Rob and stuff like that. It's like, nope, nope, he's, he's not, he's not a... Car Stark. It right now it just kind of seems like he's a serial killer, like he's just insane, and he's just because he says like there's one reason I'm torturing you because I enjoy it. It's like oh okay, so yeah maybe we'll get more backstory on him. And again, like I said, um, like I've said, um, I know you guys have said like oh well you can't you can't actually figure out who it is like. You can figure out who this guy is and why he's doing this before it's actually revealed. I get that. I can't figure it out for the life of me. And don't spoil it in the comments for me, uh, like I've said in the past. Don't spoil it in the comments. Let the show tell me when it wants to tell me. And who knows, maybe I'll figure it out before then. But I am like completely lost on who this guy is. I wrote down Heron Hall. Interesting that... Um, Interesting that Rob would be willing to give Harrenhal to uh, Lord Frey because he doesn't exactly he doesn't exactly have. Well, see, that's the interesting thing. He doesn't exactly have say over Harrenhal because it's not part of the North, and you know he's the king of the North. He's not going to sit on the Iron Throne, so he technically doesn't have any dealings with that. But the other thing is when. If Rob does win and he defeats the Lannisters, who's going to be on the Iron Throne then? Because it's not going to be him. Rob has no interest in the Iron Throne. He just wants a free and independent North where he is the king. So, yeah, I'm not sure, like, after this, you know, who is going to be on the Iron Throne and will they give up Harrenhal to, um, to Lord Frey? So... Yeah, that's kind of the thing that I'm curious about. Um, and then the last thing I wrote down was Baelish. So, so, so am I right in uh, what I understood from what he was saying? Like, because, because Cersei asked him to take care of the whole Tyrell problem, of the Tyrells gaining too much influence, did he then... Um, it, did he then basically change it to where Loras marries Cersei and um, Tyrion marries Sansa instead of Loras marrying Sansa? I'm trying to figure that one out. And then, ah, uh, that's a shame. For, it's a shame that, you know, the the lady, the woman, you know, died. But not just that, that Joffrey killed her with the crossbow. It's like, goodness gracious. But yeah. So I might rewatch that scene a bit later, like with subtitles on so I can get everything uh, down. But yeah, uh, overall, good episode. And that's basically it. That's all I wrote down. And yeah, 
Uh, with that all being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Game of Thrones reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon, and you can follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.